Hey friends, it's Kaz with Midnight Lights Gaming, and I'm bringing you another spell crafting challenge, which I'm very excited to do. This is the um, spell Dart, uh, which is part of your green magic or, or Olas magic. And the reason I'm doing this one is because I think sometimes when you have to do um, a, a lot of damage or se hit several targets in a short span of time, which is what this one's all about, that sometimes that can be a little confusing. And this is also a bit of a location guide for a place, uh, yeah, Seeker Dart, um, it, 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 which is Olas's magic. Um, so, yeah, it's important to have a good location for this, which I'm also going to go over, and, and I think that will help you think about it. But the way these kind of work, all of this green magic, is your basic R2 attack implants darts into these tangos, and then your attack spells, or holding R2, um, does something with those darts. Either sends lightning bolts like the Seeker dart, um, does more of like a big storm, uh, like another one of the of Olas's spells. So let me show you where I am here. This is a middle Pranos Northern Refuge. This is one of my favorite places to knock out spellcrafting challenges because it's very close to a refuge and there's a pretty bit a very manageable but good sized zombie horde um, just west of um, this northern refuge in, in middle Pranos. So I'm going to zoom all the way out here and just kind of show you. We're, we're in like central Pranos and a little west. And that's where this refuge is. It, uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you may know like you've, you've been here before because this really is a great zombie horde to knock things out. And it's very flat. It's easy to get there. There is another location um, I'll show you in a little bit that you can check out that has a zombie horde that's, that's very early in the game, which is nice too. This is relatively early as well. So what you're going to see me here do uh, do here is I'm going to uh, get, get the right spell equipped. I'm going to jump down here, and then I'm going to sort of uh, run around in circles around the zombie horde. And this is just to sort of wrangle them, um, to shepherd them into um, the, the green magic storm I'm about to lay on them. And then after I've got done that a couple times, I'm just going to kind of keep moving, hitting R2 to implant darts kind of left right and center i don't think the darts last in the enemy in the tangos for very long but i'm still just gonna like implant a bunch of darts and while i'm running circles this is a good time to remind you to like and subscribe i'm in my push to a thousand subs i love making these videos and if i ever make a single dollar from any of these videos half is going to go to a charity we choose as a subscriber community so i love making the videos i just figure why not try and do some good as well with with y'all's help so I really appreciate you watching, whether or not you like or subscribe, but, and I really do appreciate the likes and subscribe. So here it goes. You can see I'm going to keep moving because if you get too central into the middle of them, you are going to get hit and, and, and take you know quite a bit of damage potentially because you are just trying to implant as many darts as possible. And then once you've implanted a bunch, you can see all I did there was hold R2 to charge it. You don't have to charge it very long, but I would because it'll likely attack more tangos at once. And that one lightning bolt, um, and between the darts and who was near the lightning bolt, got eight people no problem. So, again, you're just kind of running around, implanting darts, implanting darts, implanting darts, then get to a place where you can charge your R2 attack uh, and the Seeker dart, and you're good to go. That, that got it for us. So that is our Seeker Dart Level 1 Spellcrafting Challenge Guide. We're in Middle Pranos, the Northern Refuge, just a little bit west of where that is. And then another zombie horde to check out. I just need to find my way here a little bit. Um, I need to go up to Sepal, which I do here in a second. There's Sepal. Just south of there, you can see the best Blessed Plain Refuge. It's a bit of a drop down, but just a little south of the Blessed Plains Refuge, there's a, a good zombie horde right around here um, that you, you can also do, and it's earlier in the game. It's a good location. Uh, the problem is getting back to the refuge is a little annoying because it's just a lot of climbing uphill. It takes a little bit longer. So, again, I really appreciate you watching, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe as a means of helping me with my push to a thousand subs especially if these videos do anything for you um, i know a, a lot of folks have been coming back for some of these spell crafting challenges 
which is great because I love figuring these out. I love helping folks out. It can feel annoying to have to like, you know how to do it, but what's a good place to do it? Um, that's why I really like YouTube as a place to support each other as a community. All right, peace and take care.